Tertiary Education Trust Fund, Third Fund, is one of the most sensitive and strategic agencies of government, specifically in the tertiary education sector of our dear country. And therefore, it behoves on the president to ensure that whoever leads this agency is one that is eminently qualified with the requisite qualifications. We at Ted Fund want to thank His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, for finding in our own Executive Secretary, Architect Sonny S.T. Echono, the requisite qualifications to lead this organization. Since the assumption of the Executive Secretary precisely on the 21st of March 2022, there has been flurry of activities at the Fund. We believe this is driven purely by his patriotism and selflessness. He has brought reforms with the intent of taking this organization to a higher level. And we believe this definitely will go a long way for our tertiary institutions. And therefore, we decided that um, to commemorate his 100 days in office, we highlight some of the activities that um, took place within that period. Change of God signifying a new era at Tet Fund. The assurance we shall give is to build on the solid foundation that has already been laid. From the hard talk to walking the talk, this is an affirmation that there is indeed a new sheriff in town. I promote a culture of merit. I believe in team spirit. Each and every member of staff is very important. It's so critical to us achieving our overall objective that every staff will be afforded their due respect and their entitlement. A seasoned administrator of repute and a renowned technocrat with decades of experience, Architect Sonny Echeno is a thorough yes. civil servant with 35 years of exemplary service. I will dedicate myself to the service of our country through this opportunity that I've been given. And by extension, I'm asking every member of staff of Telephone to key into this challenge. On assumption of office, actor Sonia Echeno hits the ground running with clear court vision for Ted Fund by taxing tertiary institutions to produce more entrepreneurs to reduce unemployment rate, to seeking more investment in basic education to tackle social economic problems engendering agricultural revolution, upscaling fiscal infrastructure such as libraries, hostel accommodation for students, mainstreaming research and development, digitization of theses amongst others. We hope that at the end of the day we'll be able to have a plagiarism checker and a repository that will be a par with Turnitin and other repositories we have all around um, the world this repository will be able to have us exposed to global repositories and also have our own repository exposed to other global um, resources. First and foremost, he asked that we develop a policy because when he came in, he realized that there was no policy on entrepreneurship, on, on employability, and even on bringing this triple helix model to work. So we've developed a policy right now and uh, the policy is before management. 
and once that policy is adopted, it's going to catapult into action and into achievement of uh, the triple helix model. He was able to secure an MOU with Farah, you know, whereby uh, Farah engaged the Brazilian government to give us a window for training of our scholars. In fact, up to 500 of them. We already have 124 on ground. They're already in Brazil studying. And after signing the MOU, they gave us an opportunity that we can uh, upscale it up to 500 scholars. This vision spawned reactions and has seen visible impact in areas of collaboration with prominent stakeholders like the Federal Inland Revenue Service in scaling up more revenue collection in Nigeria. The, the other area of, um, of reforms we would like to say is in the area of our interaction with the FIRS, uh, the Federal Inland Revenue Service. He had always said at different fora that the collection is the nerve uh, of our activities as state fund. And uh, he showed that seriousness uh, because one of the first visits he made as ES was to the chairman of FIRS. As we speak, over 79 billion has been um, released to us uh, by the FIRS within, um, for the year. And uh, we've disbursed inclusive of what we had last year, over 90 billion as we speak. The disbursement rate is, is phenomenal. To agenda setting for committee of vice chancellors in Nigerian universities and that of its counterpart, the committee of rectors and committee of provosts in Nigerian colleges of education. One of the first assignments he issued upon assumption of office was for us to open up contacts with the CBN, the FIRS, the uh, um, regulatory agencies, NUC, MBT, and NCCE. And then, of course, the institutions themselves, the benefiting institutions. And so we have been on a steady march on, on those pa paths. And uh, the feedback is that there is already a huge groundswell of support for his plans and his projections. In this department, the first issue that came up in uh, trying to work in line with his uh, agenda is how do we change from having those matchbox structures into iconic structures and then improving the quality of TED fund projects in all the tertiary institutions. Uh, two things are involved there, which we have started the groundwork. The groundwork is improving the process of vetting the submissions and ensuring that quality designs are approved for institutions. Then supervision and monitoring is also improved. He has also um, made it such that, you know, um, the involvement of relevant personnel, um, like from the department, M and E, you have the audit unit now getting involved, especially at final trans stages, and also um, involvement of zonal officers. Another striking and very remarkable thing is um, the fact that he, you know the, the stepping down of audit requirement at second trans release stage, such that. Um, you know, before we, we have this bottleneck of delay, administrative processes and all that, that doesn't allow projects to proceed you know, um, diligently and be delivered on schedule. As part of the reform to step up projects, life cycle implementation, step finishing projects on time, the audit clearance will now be issued at the last tranche for the beneficiary to finish their project. I think with this is a laudable achievement for him. This has seen renewed alliances with Governor Simon Bakola Longa Plateau State in transforming the tertiary educational sector. 
vis-a-vis -vis that of African Union in forging partnership with the Pan-African University. And the United Kingdom government came calling in areas of partnership in research and development and cross-fertilization of ideas between both countries. We're here because we think, looking at the ambitious plans that TEP Fund and the government have for higher education, that there are ways we can work together and learn from um, each other. And all of those meetings were focused really on how we might set up uh, a group to implement a development of increased transnational education activity. The completion of the National Library was not also left out. TEDFON is charged to provide funding for the completion uh, because it is already an existing contract. Uh, the fund can only provide funding uh, for the completion. There is already an existing contractor, but the major issue is uh, lack of funding. That's why the project is not completed. And uh, the TED fund had already made provision of 15 billion for the National Library. But there are processes which are required before approvals is given for TED fund to start access, uh, releasing those funds. An engendering agricultural revolution, which he says is another priority area of his administration. It is a roadmap to success in transforming the educational sector and in elevating the status of teaching and learning in public tertiary institutions in Nigeria from brain drain to brain gain. In addition to that, the EAS has directed that we carry out impact assessment of our research activities and also to carry out assessment of research infrastructure you know, of our institutions. How ready are our universities in terms of research infrastructure and research superstructure? You know, he would like to uh, assess their level, to what extent they can compete favorably. Before the end of the year, TAC promised to publish 40 books. So out of these 40 books, the 10 that has been <coughs> promised before the end of June, I just got this today, three books already published and they are coming, <coughs> they are on their way. We said for not only that, the others that have their covers, you can see this, you can see this. This one is from my teacher, imagine, fluid mechanics and hydraulics for engineers by Professor Sariu Mustafa. And then this is another one, you can see the next one. So. There is a lot of seriousness when the new years came. This has been carefully orchestrated by architect Sani Echeno in just 100 days in office, leading credence to that popular saying that a square peg in a square hole does makes the difference. He came in and he met, we have a slim agonogram. So what we did that he taxed the human resource department to now come up with staff audit so that we now audit the staff and see what we have and what we need to work optimally for the enhancement of education in Nigeria. One very striking and remarkable thing he has, um, he has um, done, uh, he has emphasized on his responsiveness. Um, he wants a situation where the department is responsive and um, we are able to address beneficiaries' concerns immediately. And that's why he was able to come up with a two-week turnaround time that um, when beneficiaries make requests for inspection, we should be able to finish everything, even including disbursement, within a turnaround time of two weeks. We always say it that a leader should lead by example. And we have seen it in him, the way he he will come to work, he will treat his file before you know it. I remember there are some times we have sent file, even his busy schedule, even from uh, coming back from a journey, before you know it, the file is treated. So I can say that uh, his uh, type of leadership is good. My unit, the legal unit, has enjoyed tremendous support from the person of architect Sonny Echono. He is a very well experienced and exposed individual 
I think there's hardly any ever issue. There's hardly any issue that we have tabled before him, which he hasn't not only um, solved or exposed us to some dimensions that we never even had had had, had, had even thought. He has really shown professionalism and leadership in Ted Fon. He's a real jam. Following a channel track record. He was appointed as the executive secretary of Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TED Fund, in March 2022. A singular honor bestowed on him by President Muhammadu Buhari through the recommendation of a visionary leader, Malam Adamu Adamu. Sonny S.T. Echono is one of a kind. And I must say it here on record that we are lucky, simpliciter, to have him as the one in charge at this time. I would like on behalf of uh, the R&D department to heartily congratulate him and to wish him many more successes as he steers the affairs of the fund. I would like to use this opportunity to congratulate our executive secretary for 100 days in office. Uh, congratulations, sir. Uh, we, wish you, uh, we wish you the best. Uh, the very fruitful tenure. Ted Fund is lucky having him because he has been one of us. He has served on Ted Fund Board of Trustees for the last four years and as a board member. Now he's coming as a chief executive of Ted Fund. So he's an achievement. So Ted Fund is lucky to have one of its coming back in a bigger capacity. Being our professional colleague, He's an architect, he's a project manager, he's an ICT guru, and he's a leader by excellence. Not only that, he's a professional in many, many, you know, fields of uh, experience. I would like to um, say a very big congratulations to the executive secretary, um, architect Sunday, Sonny Echono. He happens also to be my big brother and uh, very, very senior colleague in the profession. Well, I really wish to congratulate the Executive Secretary on the, this first 100 days in office. They have been very, very eventful. Um, a lot has happened within such a short uh, time. Uh, that tells you how much experience he has brought on on the job. I wish to congratulate the Executive Secretary, first of all, um, for coming into Ted Fund, the assumption of office to Ted Fund. And um, for these 100 days um, in office, he has been a sprint um, for all of us because um, he came in with his sleeves rolled up for work from day one. I actually want to use this opportunity to congratulate the Executive Secretary, Architect Sony, T. Echono, for spending 100 days in office. Uh, we have seen uh, the quality in him. We have seen the type of experience that he has. And we've achieved a lot. OK, I want to start by congratulating the, our ES architect, Sonny Echonu, for this 100 days in office. He has really shown professionalism and leadership. Let me use the opportunity to congratulate the executive secretary in his 100 days in office. This 100 days has been a remarkable one. I hope to have closer interactions with him. I hope to, to learn more from him because, you know, I. I look forward to that. I look forward to our management meetings with the executive secretary. The Abuin State Governor, Dave Mwezi recently paid a visit to the Tertiary Education Trust Fund to add his voice to the laudable feat architect Sonny S.T. Echono have been recording within the short space of his appointment. While seizing the occasion to solicit for the fund's support for the upcoming King David University of Medical Sciences located in Umburu, Ebon State, Governor Umayi said, given architect Sonny Echeno's exemplary service 
to the nation over the years, he was confident that the executive secretary will bring huge transformation to the fund. Uh, first is to uh, come and uh, congratulate my brother for uh, this promotion based on uh, the jobs he has uh, done for the country and uh, to also thank him for the uh, the works they are doing in the new university and of course you know Mr. President graciously named the university after me, uh, David Omae uh, University of Medical Sciences, one of the seven universities uh, that uh, has been uh, undertaken by the federal government. And so there the federal government is doing ecological uh, projects, not on that aid fund, on the ecological fund, but they are doing cancer center one of the best in the country has almost completed. They are also doing a, a renal center, infrastructure-wise, and of course the eye center, the best you can find anywhere in West Africa. And so they have done extremely very well in seeing to this project. And uh, I'm here to say thank you to him. And uh, of course uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, intervention fund uh, for the university. And before I could even ask, he had written a letter requesting the university to come up with proposal. That's how it's supposed to be. You know, uh, before now you have to come, you have to beg, you have to wait, and sometimes you have projects that will elapse. You know, the projects of uh, one year is done in the next two years. You know, it shouldn't be so. You know, it shouldn't be so because uh, the state fund that is losing. So I'm very happy with what the intervention is based, based on very, uh, you know, rich experience that is coming to that fund with, you know. On behalf of my staff, and of course, my colleagues at Ted Fund, we want to uh, say congratulations to you on your first 100 days. And uh, we wish that uh, God will continue to enrich you in wisdom and good health as you continue to pilot the affairs of this great agency, Ted Fund. Thank you, sir. As he continues to serve government, Akita Sonia Cheno says, it's a race against time in accomplishing his lofty visions for TED Fund, but one that he hopes to see come to fruition for the educational sector, the public tertiary institution, and for the betterment of Nigeria at large.